and welcome to another one of our episodes. You're probably getting tired of hearing me say this. I'm at Mosquito Lagoon. Look, I've been down here five days. We got this new travel trader. We're having an awesome time and we're cooking stuff. In this video, we're going to make up some chicken quarters on the pit barrel cooker and we're going to finish them off with a Budweiser and honey glaze. I hope you stay with me. Fourth of July week, we're having a great time. Got three chicken quarters here, all right? Got a little Hellman's. This happens to be organic. I don't really, uh, by the way, I'm not touching the chicken for all you food safety folks, okay? All right, doesn't have to be organic, it's just what she bought. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is use this mayonnaise as a binder, okay? Oh yeah, you're saying he's crazy, but I'm telling you, this will be awesome. Just going to get it all uh, managed up here. I've got this new outside workstation. we got this new travel trailer, and it's got this fridge and sink and everything built right outside so I don't have to mess stuff up, get stuff dirty inside. It's absolutely awesome. Okay. Now, let me get some of this mayonnaise off my hands. Now, I'm just going to come in with some onion powder. For those of you that want to know measurements, I'm not measuring today. I'm just giving it a nice sprinkle. You know, we're out here cooking at the lagoon. I don't know. I'm sure there's not even a uh, half a teaspoon on each one. So if I were just going to guess, okay, pure guess, I would say in total, we're going to use about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons. Okay, we are going to do both sides. Then I'm going to come in, I've used this on ribs before, this Texas Pecan Barbecue Rub. I've still got mayonnaise on my hand. Okay, like we've talked many times in our videos, I like to layer the flavors. And again, it's probably going to be a teaspoon and a half. I mean, I'm not, you can see, I'm not measuring, right? Just sprinkle it out. Get a nice coating. And then what I'll do is flip these guys over. They have mayonnaise on both sides. I'll hit it up with the onion powder. Hit it up with this same rub, and then we'll talk about getting these guys on the smoker. Okay, so we got this smoker set today, 350 degrees. Okay, I would have liked to have been a little bit cooler, but it just didn't work out that way. We got some cherry wood here for the smoke. Alrighty, and we're gonna get that chicken on here. Once I get it on, I'm going to go in and wash my hands. Alright. To start this sauce, I've got this Budweiser Premium Barbecue Sauce Classic. Okay? Now, you don't need this whole bottle for this chicken. By the way, you can use your own favorite barbecue sauce, but I'm making up some ribs today too. So I'm just going to make all the sauce for both videos at the same time. Okay, so I got my Budweiser uh, barbecue sauce in there. Then I'm going to add this Bud Light beer. Okay, and I'm going to use about a half of one, right? It's 12 ounces, about six ounces. Okay, and then what we're going to do is bring this up to a boil. That'll cook off the alcohol. And you can see our sauce here. We don't want it too thick, right? Now what I'm going to do is pour in a little honey, and I'm going to pour in about, I'll tell you how much, just a second. That was a 22 ounce jar, and I pulled in about a third, about a third of it. So we put roughly seven or eight ounces, okay? I actually want this a little thin. I'm just going to put a light glazing on this chicken. Now, we're doing the thighs and the legs. You know, usually when I do breast, I bring them up to 165. You can bring this, uh, you know, thigh leg, whatever you want to call it, chicken quarter. You can bring it on up to 175. We're right at 172. Let's go get a nice layer of glaze on this chicken. We're right at an hour, and I told you this smoker was running a little hotter than I wanted it to, but there's nothing I can do about it. The wind is blowing off the Mosquito Lagoon here right on this chicken. It's got a great color, don't it? We're just going to put light coat on it. I'm going to let it go five, six minutes. And then we'll flip it over. 
we'll put a light coat on the other side, right? Just want to let it caramelize up a little bit, let it set in. Look at the color. The color is beautiful, isn't it? Like I said, you don't have to use the Budweiser barbecue sauce. Pick out your own barbecue sauce. Pick out your own beer. But it gives this chicken a great flavor. It's been six minutes. Look at that chicken. It's looking good. Just going to turn this chicken over. Okay. We're going to glaze the other side. The color on this chicken is just absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys can see that okay. The sun's blaring out. We're not going to need this thermometer anymore. Okay. Let me just get this turned over. All right. And now, like I said, just going to put another layer of this glaze on here. We're going to let it go six more minutes just to caramelize up a little bit. Then I'm going to pull this chicken off here. Of course, we'll let it rest. Do the taste test. I spent another six minutes. We're going to get our chicken off. It's juicy. You can see the juice just all over. So get this chicken off. We're going to let it rest for 10 minutes. And then we're going to give it a try. Look, look at the color on this chicken. Like it's absolutely gorgeous. So our chicken's been resting here about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. We're going to cut some of this off so you guys can see it. I mean, look, I don't know if you can see that or not. It is just, I hope you can see it. It is moist, beyond moist. I didn't brine this, right? We used the mayonnaise as the binder. I just uh, didn't even think about um, brining it. Got a little bit of that skin. All right, can you see the moisture in it? Absolutely incredible. Let's give this a try. All right, here she goes. <laughs> okay, so a few things. Cooking at that higher temperature, even though it wasn't planned, crisps, crisped up the skin. Got a nice cherry wood smoke. You got that sweetness, and you do get just a little bit of that beer flavor in the background. This right here is an awesome recipe. You saw how easy it was, you know, if you're camping out or you just don't have a lot of time, try this one out. If you're not a subscriber already, I hope you hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell, you'll be notified of all of our new videos. Thanks for watching.